what's going on youtube md14 back here again with you with another gaming news it's been a while and uh i know i something this is something i want to do during november and you want why not start with a banger right here um nintendo uh in japan headquarters had tweeted out something i know this is on the on the fifth a lot was going on, on the fifth if you know you know uh but here is what it translated here and uh it's some good news it is something that we've been waiting to hear in a, in a while in a long time and uh, it kind of rests the minds of, of many of us. And this is what it has to say. And of course, I'm, I'm sure many of you have already started reading it without, and while I'm here just blabbering. But um, it says, hello, this is Fu uh, Furukawa. I love it. I love it when they said this. <laughs> I love when they said it. Like, hey, this is uh, Miyamoto here, you know, type of thing. I, I love it. I love it. This is Furukawa. At today's business direct uh, direction briefing, we announced that Nintendo Switch software will be playable on the successor to Nintendo Switch. In addition, Nintendo Switch Online will also be available on the successor to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we will we will provide more information on the successor to the Nintendo Switch, including capability with the Nintendo Switch at a later date. This is fantastic news. This is. All the physical copies stuff that you're getting, you don't have to worry and be like, damn, is this gonna work on an upcoming switch or 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 like even digital copies? They all they're all planned to work, um, especially if you have them downloaded and you can have to just download them again on the successor of Nintendo Switch. In this case, we're just gonna we're just gonna call it Switch 2. Just just to uh for simplicity. Um this is great news. That, that means when this system comes out, you're going to have a buttload of games ready to go on, a, on the Nintendo Switch 2. Um, hopefully, as well, when they do display this, and I kind of have an idea. Like I, I, like, I know originally I thought they were going to announce, like, do, like, a little preview of it uh, in, in October. I was, I, was in, I was a part of that band camp, and uh, sadly the boat has sank and I, w I went down with the boat i went down with the boat and everything but um it it was it was kind of interesting uh I, I i the more i started thinking about it and the and especially with certain things that are coming up and and uh i'm, I'm gonna go down a whole uh rabbit hole here tinfoil hat moment here and everything and i think i have an idea of when they're going to announce the switch to like i said we're just naming it that for for simplicity reasons um and i believe it will happen right after let me actually just check over here uh when is this happening uh this is happening okay and then if i just can i just see this here and i'll and just give me a minute here this is this is happening all live or slash recorded it obviously is recorded um okay so that's happening there i believe that the switch to announcement will be coming in this is february my bad uh okay this weekend here i believe the switch to announcement will come on the 14th of january that is the date i'm picking I, that's that's the date i'm picking come back here if you let me know if i was right or wrong and the reason why i'm picking that as well is uh ces is happening on the 7th 7th to the 10th there's a lot of um speculations and rumors that nvidia is coming out and showing going to be showing off their 50 series and with the, all the fancy stuff that they've been doing with DLSS, I, I would expect DLSS uh, 4.0. Uh, I think they're on DL, DLSS 3.7, right? DLSS 3.7? Is that what they're on right now? Uh, yes, 3.7, right over here. And you have to admit that the whole DLSS game, especially with the quality mode um, and the frame generation, has been looking really nice. Uh, it's it's been you just automatically you just press you just turn you just enable it and then sometimes you're getting double the frames without the cost of the of the of the quality of the game um it's also very interesting as well that uh the previous beta for monster hunter that just happened this past weekend if you wanted to run the game and i believe it showed at 1080p um if you wanted to run the game at 1080p 60 fps monster hunter frame generation let's just see i remember that was like a requirement actually yeah requiring frame generations for 60 fps uh for monster hunter this was also brought up uh for the requirement here uh and it says right here in fact let me just uh let me just do this for a second here are uh, you ready we're ready we're, we're already read the note for for uh furukawa and everything and we uh appreciate your note mr Fur, uh, furukawa as well 
uh, Monster Hunter right over here, as you can see, it's for 1080p, full HD, 60 FPS. You had to run, you had to run it with frame generation enabled, which is kind of wild, kind of, kind of wild to think about just for 1080p, 60 FPS. Um, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, yes, this game is expected to run at 1080p, 60 FPS with frame generation enabled under the medium graphic graphic settings. And the reason why I'm bringing this up as well is that it seems like a lot of developers and, and uh, Capcom being a Japan de developer as well, they're starting to implement the whole like AI frame generation DLSS into their into their um, development. You can save a lot of time if you just you know focus on the game and like and with and then have DLSS and frame generation help out with uh, making the game run at a sta stable frame rate. Um, and I know Nintendo will not have the latest. Obviously, won't have like the latest whatever chip they're using. Uh, they're planning to use it. Will not be like a 50, 50 series chip, but it'll definitely be a chip that that uses the capabilities of DLSS. If it is DLSS four, maybe one that's capable of DLSS four, or one that is that will run up to three point seven. Um, maybe you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, Nvidia, I'm positive Nvidia has, Nvidia has been working on DLSS four for quite a long time and had Nintendo looped in, it looped into it and making, and then whatever chip that you, that they're using is going to have the whole DLSS into it, um, and maybe even, and maybe even four point uh, running into it which will obviously you'll be able to run current gen games um on the on the next nintendo switch uh nintendo switch to nintendo switch to uh system so obviously the reason why a like, full circle ces is coming up 7 to 7 to the 10th of january i will not like uh if nvidia is to show it off if you want to show all that off instead of it being on uh you know, maybe instead of Nintendo bringing it up and people be like, well, how's Nintendo pulling this off and everything? It'll kind of like, it'll kind of, you know, people will be like, well, they're doing it because of NVIDIA's latest chip and yada, yada, yada. And like people will tune in, but um, people will tune in and everything. But, you know, with, with everything, everything else, it wouldn't, uh, people wouldn't, basically like people will be able to figure out, oh, this is what N NVIDIA's thing's able to do. It'll kind of, you know, rain on their parade in, in a way. So, um, that is my guess, January 14th, which is a, uh, like I mentioned, it is a Tuesday. Why not? A week later. It can even be right after, like, because the 7th, wait, this, uh, once again, it's November. My bad. The 7th is the the Tuesday to the Friday. Monday's the 13th. Nintendo, Nintendo likes to announce things on Tuesday sometimes. It can even be during this week. So if I want to be, if I, if I want to be extra safe, I would say the 13th to the 17th, 13th to the 17th, sometime that week, the week, the week of the 13th, Nintendo, uh, will have their announcement for the switch Two. That's, that's my guess. Um, and like I, like I mentioned before, it's great news that it is also going to be backwards, com uh, backwards compatible, uh, which is fantastic news. Uh, once again, from Mr. Furukawa, uh, great, great news, uh, with that. There we go. Um, from uh, from Nintendo corporate, uh, and I'm kind of hoping in a way that they also sh and like what a great and what would be amazing for Nintendo to do is not only show off new games. I want them to show off games that are even like current current games. If games that were that weren't running um, at a efficient like a, at a great you know resolution, a great frame rate as well, show those games off as well. Show them off. Show, show them off and just be like, "Hey, with the Switch Two, you'll get a uh, a a boost of frame rate and and resolution here, and um and at you know at no at no I mean it may be even if like at no additional cost. Obviously, you gotta get the system. I mean, there will be additional cost, but no additional cost of upgrading the system. Or maybe they might do that. They might be like, "Oh, okay. Well, now you get the Nintendo Switch Two version of this game. You know." Uh, and it will cost you ten dollars for the up for the for the graphical upgrades and everything, or maybe they might give it to for free. I don't know. I don't know. That's just my guess. Um, I'm kind of leaning more, like more to uh, <laughs> leaning more to the 
$10 upgrade, but that's going to be a lot of $10 upgrades for a lot of games, you know, like, especially if they're like, oh, get, get like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 at like 1440, 60 frames or something like that. Pay 10 bucks. I feel, I kind of feel like a lot of stuff will be like $10. I, 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 I don't know. I feel like they might have like, oh, this game is not running better type of thing um at no additional cost i'm sure a lot of those games are ready they already have them for like a higher like a higher frame rate because there there were i remember there were times that there were some trailers i look at i'm like the game did not look like this i'm sure they already have them ready to go um will they charge for that <sighs> my heart <laughs> my heart wants to say no but i feel like they might i feel like they might in a way but anyway we'll see you let me you let me know in the comments below if they're gonna be uh charging or not but um but yeah this is great news and not only that a bonus nso is coming as well it's kind of interesting that um in addition like in addition like clearly like clearly the system is going to be called switch 2 you know because the fact that they're like nintendo switch online will also be available to the successor i mean obviously they're not going to spoil it and be like oh yeah the nintendo on like I mean, they could have easily called Nintendo online, but then that would have been like, well, maybe the Switch 2 is not called Switch 2 then. But you know, whatever, whatever. Just to just to simplify it and like re and get people to relate to their to that service, the Switch Online will also be available as well. For me, I'm just hoping for better network capabilities. Um, Nintendo's problem, the networking is always bad, and it needs and that needs to change. It's 2024 nintendo for the love of god we can now like i remember you guys were late to the game like wow you can download games now and i remember <laughs> but i remember i remember downloading stuff onto the 3ds and that to, that used to, i used to, i remember i download new super mario brothers onto the on the 3ds jesus christ watching that animation of stuff dropping into the box and watching that bubble fill up there was no reason there was no reason for stuff to take that long you know i will love the latest wi-fi even just give us Wi-Fi 7 for the love of God. Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth, whatever. Bluetooth, if not, like give us the latest speed on the on the dock. For the love of God, please. Uh, but yeah, great news from Nintendo. Let me know your thoughts down below in uh in the comments below. And uh, as always, everyone, have yourself a damn good one. All right. <laughs>